This is Twit. Uh, I've been using this Panther Lake based laptop for the past month. Right? Ooh, a CPU assembled in the US. Yeah, supposedly. Uh, <laughs> 64 gigs of RAM, which I think is not going to be a common configuration in 2026. Um, you know, whatever. So this thing has slightly improved G- uh, CPU, I should say, a, a vastly improved GPU and a good MPU. You know, really good. Except, like, not that we use those for anything, but no. it's there if you need it. Um, so to me, the big thing is I fell for this when Lunar Lake was announced at I- IFA 2024. It came out strong, Intel did. And I thought, here we go. They're doing it. They're turning around. And the next year was a disaster of reliability problems. And um, the other big thing on Lunar Lake that maybe doesn't get enough press, unless you're AMD or <laughs> Snapdragon or Qualcomm, because they can't stop talking about this, is that when you unplug the power from these things, the, the performance drops off of cliff. And so you have that kind of combination of chips that are designed only for laptops that don't work well on battery and, uh, you know, had pretty good battery life improvements, decent com- uh, compute and graphic uh, improvements, but still massive reliability issues, right? And so what's the story with Panther Lake? I, I can't really say that this is a fact that it's probably only one of these things. I need, you know, multiple computers. Some of the stuff I'm seeing might be from the PC maker. Um, one thing that is unique about this laptop is I could crank up whatever Call of Duty game and play for an hour and you don't hear the fan, which is unbelievable. Like nice. this, that is, that's almost magic. I mean, that, that doesn't happen, but I also open the lid and it doesn't come on. And that's something I'm very familiar with, with Intel computers. So there's that reliability kind of thing too. Uh, my initial battery life stuff is not great. I didn't even write about that. It's just too early. It's not fair to even talk about it. But I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to see more. I need more experience with more computers before I can be fully sure what's happening here. But initially, I will say the GPU advantages are real. Like, they're, it's big. It, it's approaching dedicated graphics territory. And that's interesting. It's actually better than AMD, which is unexpected. And they're super proud of that. And maybe they should be. It, it seems like that stuff's good. Uh, but even then, you know, there's weirdness going on because they're doing using AI to do frame generation. Um, there's stuff going on with the drivers that will enable and improve that over time. There are utilities on PCs, including Intel's with their graphics drivers. They have their own utility, but then like HP, which this is, has their own software. And these things are all trying to improve the performance of games, right? And the, and the quality of games. So this is a lot like the super resolution stuff you see on Windows and ARM computers today where the native resolution of this computer is something like 18 or 2880 by 1800 or something like that. The game says that it's running at that native resolution, but it's actually running it under full HD. Um, but it's doing the upscale stuff, right? Which has been common in gaming for a while, but is now being pretty dramatically increased because of AI, I guess, and just whatever chip capabilities. So you run these games at lower res, but it looks beautiful. And I will say this is as good as this game has ever looked off of dedicated graphics. Um, The performance is incredible. Um, I can't explain this one, but it seems to work really well on battery, which I would normally not do because I'm not an idiot, (laughs) but you could do that if you wanted to. And it's, it's good. But it's Intel, right? So there's all these caveats. If you look at the grid of Core Ultra Series 3 chips, which is this family of chips, I believe there are, I'm just going to throw out the number, this could be wrong, but like 18 of them. Only three of them have the latest graphics, <laughs> like or maybe four. Like most of them just have, it's not pre, I don't know that it's previous confusing. gen. confusing. It's super confusing. And there are two tiers of the new graphics engine. So when they talk about these graphics improvements, when you see all the charts and all the numbers they have are all based on you having the very highest end version of this thing, which is only, I think, on two or three of those chips. So when you buy a computer this year and you're getting like Intel Core Ultra Series 3, you're like, I did it. You're like, not necessarily. There's a pretty good chance you're not getting those graphics. You have to buy one of the really highest end chips to get it. Which, you know, if you cared about the stuff, you would, right? You would take the time. But you have to be careful about the stuff because the vast majority of the stuff they're selling is not that. Um, but 
Now I, I want to check and see is, what did I just buy? Because well, I have what no, you have is the previous gen, right? So you have it's, for, it's, you have a, right. you have a lunar lake. Yeah, it's lunar lake. So I don't have to worry yeah. so, so much as that. You don't have to worry about it. It's it is okay. what it is. It's, it's they don't have this kind of thing with it. there's so many tiers of this stuff. It's very confusing. Yes, but, it's confusing. Yep, but I I do. This one does happen to have that chip. So or the highest end chip. Um, of course, they're going to only send you the good one. They're not going to send you the. That's the thing, right? The slow one. And, but again, this is the difference between what an enthusiast might want and what a typical consumer would want. If, if someone just buying a laptop it, it doesn't even understand these generations and the different chips and whatever. <laughs> yeah, I didn't understand. <laughs> I didn't, no, I, I just no, bought it's it. It's confusing. Even people who know what they're talking about find it confusing. It's it is confusing. Mine's but, a, uh, a Ultra Seven Two Eighty Five Two Fifty Eight V. <laughs> Yeah. Whatever that so is. So the two and the number tells you it's Lunar Lake. That's the two dot dot V. V is Lunar Lake as well. Is is that gen, right? Okay. So two and it, it's second gen, it's Lunar Lake. It, the, it, this is the uh, mobile Intel chipset, right? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know, I need, like I said, I need more of these things. But here's uh, the two big takeaways for me are I open the lid and nothing happens. That's not great. Oh, um, that's not great. But is like that Windows that again, or is that the, the laptop? Performance is crazy. Like it's good. Yeah. And it's battery great. life? I can't say yet. I, I, I yeah. it's been all over the map. I have never seen anything extraordinarily good, I'll tell you that. So it, it, if you kind of accept the the rough high level view that you're gonna get eleven to twelve hours on Snapdragon and you're gonna get eight to nine on AMD and you're gonna get seven to eight on Intel, it's that or less. It's it's in there. Yeah. The other concern is whether or not they're going to have the same problem on battery. And this is something I didn't see that in the game, but I've only looked at that a little bit. And so one of the things they were talking about at their introduction was they have more E cores, which is the efficient cores. That's what's responsible for that performance drop off. But then again, it's been another year. Maybe they're optimizing things for that. I know they worked with game makers, literally hundreds of games uh, to make sure that these things ran great on this processor. So maybe if you're playing games, you won't see it as much. But if you were trying to think what you might be doing, like a normal kind of workload, you're in Word, Excel, web browsing, maybe then you would see it. I don't know. I, 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 it's just too soon. I can't really, I don't want to, I can't rule on this, so to speak. But the game stuff is good. So that is good. So we got that. It, it looks like it's sitting on a pretty hefty little wedge there. What is? The, the uh, Omni. The laptop. It has that sort of plinth effect or the, the platform underneath it's super thin this particular computer they did something with the cooling what is system this? what is this yeah well that's just the speaker i was just trying to show the speaker yeah but um okay, it's like yeah. a downwards firing speaker but yeah i mean i i have it here in front of me i don't know if you can i think i should oh, okay maybe that's maybe remember, that's the, but the trick it's, it's, it is very thin it's oh, okay it's, um, okay it's just the picture yeah, yeah i think that's just a, the photo angle makes it look yeah, vast yeah, yeah. i just yeah. wanted to no, it's very one thin. photo over the bottom. That's it's like very all the Omni books are really thin. They're nice. I like them. Yeah, this is, mm -hmm. but it does. Very, it is undercut. Like yeah, it does they seem it, like it's yes, and that's very and common. I, and I equate this to my Surface Studio Two, which literally has this platform that it sits yeah. on. So it has these vents where it, it's dumping very hot air out yeah. of right now. So this one, it's you know the intake is on the bottom, very traditional. Yeah. Oh, so this is actually a wedge that's just lifting yeah. it up. So it's psychological, it's, uh, too. I think but you that, can, that I mean, you can it just feel thinner. That's not hot. It's, no, it's no. not hot at all. Try this. Put your hand beside this thing. Yeah, like, that's not it. I mean, that, that's it's crazy. This that's would, Acapulco. This yeah, is the Arctic. This thing warps the <laughs> yeah. cases on la on my phone. It's ask me how I know, right? Like, it's <laughs> what so is that? hot. What is that laptop, Richard? This is the Studio 2 with the 4060 oh, in it. This is all the 4060 heat running out. Oh, yeah. You know? It's the GPU. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That's basically a desktop. And you don't, you're not even basically, gaming yeah. on that. I mean, what are you doing? No, with no, that? this is just running the two screens and the camera, like, oh, yeah, invariably. Yeah. streaming. And the fans yeah. aren't cranking. Like, this will get loud if it's really, if I do game on it. But this is right. enough that the air is genuinely hot coming out of it. Yeah, but if you play games on a computer, you understand this thing's going to sound like a jet engine. Yeah. It's just normal. And, and you've and, got your headphones in, so you don't yeah, care. You make everybody about, else sad. But that's this fine. one, though, it's notable. I, it's, I mean, I'm not saying it, obviously the fans are kicking yeah. in, it's doing something, right? But it 
it is not loud. Whoever did the fan design on this one is smart. This is something very good going on. Right. So yeah. we'll see, you know, Lenovo, other companies are going to make these computers. As well, well, the as Studio as. 2, they chose to make optional and uh, GPUs, right? And I took one of the really high-end ones, and I think so this one runs hotter than yeah. some of the others would. But right. It is, it, it literally, it, it, has, like a, it has loosened the case on this phone. And this is the <laughs> second time it's done it. So, I mean, it's like a, you have like a, like a big block eight cylinder engine. Yes. And this thing is and like I'm occasionally a shocked electric that engine it roars at me. You know? Yeah. yeah. But, it's different. It's definitely different. Yeah. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this little highlight from a much better show <laughs> and longer too called Windows Weekly. The whole link to the show is right below me. And of course, we stream live right here every Wednesday. You can watch us do our thing or download it here or in your favorite podcast player. Uh, best thing to do, what do they say? Uh, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.